Standard 7th Subject Maths Chapter 10 Banks and Simple Interest Practice Set 41 In this practice set, we are going to use the same two formulas which we used in the earlier practice set. That is, interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100 and amount is equal to principal plus interest. So let us begin with practice set 41, question number 1. If the interest on rupees 1700 is rupees 340 for 2 years, the rate of interest must be dash. So now we have to find the rate of interest. So you will see the only difference in practice set 40 and 41 is in practice set 40 you are finding interest and amount. In practice set 41 you will be asked to find out any of the things in the sum like rate of interest or number of years. So accordingly you will have to substitute the values in the same formula and find out the answer for whichever part of the question asked. So here we have been asked rate of interest. So we will use the same formula interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100 and find out the rate of interest. When you solve you will find out that the rate of interest is 10%. How do we do that? Let's have a look. Total interest that is I is equal to P into R into T upon 100. Interest is given as 340. So we write 340 is equal to interest on rupees 1700 means 1700 is our principal. So in we substitute the value of P as 1700 into R. R we don't know so we write R as it is into T. Time is given 2 years. So substitute 2 upon 100. Now leaving R, all the other values we will have to take the other side. So 340 in 200 upon 1700 into 2 is equal to R. And when you solve, you get your answer R is equal to 10%. So this way, same formula for interest we have used and we have substituted uh, substituted the values which are given in the question. So in the question we have our interest given, principal is given and time is given. We have found out the value for R using the very same formula interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100. Question number 2. If the interest on rupees 3000 is rupees 600 at a certain rate for a certain number of years, what would the interest be on rupees 1500 under the same conditions? Now this is a sum of direct proportion which you have learned in the earlier chapter. Now here the number of years is constant for both the situations. So in the first case, the interest is rupees 600 on the principal rupees 3000 and the certain rate of interest and number of years both are constant. So what would be the interest on rupees 1500 under the same condition? Means we have got 600 rupees on principal rupees 3000 interest of 600. So if a principal is now 1500 exactly half of 3000 means interest will also be half half of 600 is 300 that means the correct option is 300 option A. How do we solve it? We can take the sum in proportion. Let's have a look. Solution is A rupees 300. The interest on rupees 3000 at certain rate of interest is rupees 600. Let us suppose that the interest on rupees 1500, the other principal, at the same rate is x. So now we take the direct proportion ratio. 
600 upon 3000 is equal to x upon 1500. Interest, interest next to each other and principal is in the denominator. Now cross multiply x is equal to you will cross multiply 600 into 1500 upon 3000. So you will get your answer as 300 when you solve it. So this way we know that the interest on rupees 1500 would be rupees 300 given the same rate of interest and same number of years. Okay. Question number 3. Javed deposited rupees 12,000 at 9 PCPA in a bank for some years and withdrew his interest every year. At the end of the period, he had received altogether rupees 17,400. For how many years had he deposited his money? So here we have to find the number of years. What is given to us principal, rate of interest and total amount we have. So let's have a look at the solution. P is equal to rupees 12,000, R is equal to 9 PCPA and amount is equal to rupees 17,400. Amount is equal to principal plus interest. Therefore, 17,400 is equal to 12,000 plus interest. Now we have substituted the values whichever we have in the formula for amount so that we can find the interest. So interest is equal to you will have to subtract from 17,400 we subtract 12,000 and the interest that we get is rupees 5,400. Now we will use the formula for total interest which is equal to P into R into T upon 100 and substitute the values. Total interest is 5,400 which is equal to principal is 12,000 into rate of interest is 9 into t we don't know so we keep t as it is upon 100 now keeping t on one side shift all the other values to the other side so you get t is equal to 5400 into 100 upon 12000 into 9 reduce the number of zeros okay three zeros are in the denominator so you can reduce one two and three zeros here third zero from 5400 and when you divide 540 by 9 you will get answer as 5 so t is equal to 5 years therefore javed had deposited the amount for 5 years so the same formulas you have to use and substitute the given values and find the answer of the remaining value okay question number 4 Lataben borrowed some money from a bank at the rate of 10 PCPA interest for two and a half years to start a cottage industry. If she paid rupees 10,250 as total interest, how much had she borrowed? We have to find here how much she had borrowed means the principal is missing. We have R, we have T and we have I. So let's use the formula solution here R is equal to 10 PCPA, T is equal to 2.5 means 2.5 years, I is equal to rupees 10,250. So total interest formula is equal to P into R into T upon 100, 10,250 is equal to P into 10 into 2.5 upon 100. P we keep as it is, remaining values you shift to the other side and you will get P is equal to 10,250 into 100 upon 25. So, P is equal to rupees 45,000. Okay. So, this way we have got the value of P, which is the principal. Therefore, Lata Ben had borrowed an amount of rupees 41,000 from the bank. Question number 5. You have been given a table and you have to fill in the blanks in the table. Principal, rate of interest, time, interest and amount. Some things are missing. You have to find out the answer for the missing part. 
so let's have a look at the first sum principal is given r rate of interest is given t time is given we can easily find interest and later we will find the amount using both the formulas so let's have a look at the solution interest is equal to p into r into t upon 100 is equal to substitute the given values 4200 into 7 into 3 upon 100 when you calculate you get 0 0 gets cancelled these two zeros and 42 into 7 into 3 will give you 882 that is our interest so one answer we got interest is equal to rupees 882 next answer we want is amount so write down the formula for amount amount is equal to principal plus interest amount is equal to principal is 4200 plus 882 interest we found out just now so rupees 5082 is your total amount so let's fill up in the table rupees 882 is the interest and rupees 5082 is the total amount second sub question we have here principal is missing rate of interest time and interest is given and amount is missing so now in such condition we will have to first use which formula can we use the formula for interest and find the principal yes p into r into t upon 100 and later on we will find the amount so let's use the formula interest is equal to p into t r into t upon 100 1200 which is the interest substitute is equal to p into 6 into 4 upon 100 once you substitute the values you will keep p one side and shift the other quantities 100 will be multiplied and 6 into 4 will be divided so this way you get your p is equal to rupees 5000 once you get your principal you can easily find the amount amount formula is principal plus interest is equal to 5000 plus 1200 which is equal to rupees 6200 so let us fill the answers in the table p is equal to rupees 5000 for second sum and amount is equal to rupees 6200 so you can draw one table in your notebook and keep on filling the answers as you solve the sums below it question number three now in the third question we don't know the time we have to find the time here and we have to find the amount here so same formula will use total interest is equal to p into r into t upon 100 so substitute the values 800 is equal to 8000 into 5 into t upon 100 keeping t one side shift the other quantities to the left hand side 800 into 1000 upon 8000 into 5 is equal to t now reduce the three zeros and find the answer you will get t is equal to two years now we will find the amount using the formula amount is equal to principal plus interest is equal to 8000 plus 800 is equal to 8800 so let us substitute the values uh, write the values in the table that is t is equal to two years and amount is equal to 8800 so here we have t is equal to two years for third question and amount is equal to 8800 now two more questions are left let's start with sub question four amount is equal to principal plus interest now why we have taken the amount formula first let's see let's have a look at the question in the question we can see principal is missing and time is missing if we use the interest formula first we can't find the values substitute these two values in it so it will be not possible to find time and principal both at the same time using interest formula but using interest formula amount formula which is already given we can find the principal because amount is equal to principal plus interest interest is already there amount is also there only principal is not here so we can find the principal using amount formula first hence we will use amount is equal to p plus i 
एटीन थाउजेंड इज इक्वल टू सिक्स थाउजेंड प्लस पी ओके सो अमाउंट इज इक्वल टू प्रिंसिपल प्लस इंटरेस्ट एटीन थाउजेंड इज इक्वल टू प्रिंसिपल वी डोंट नो सो एज इट इज प्लस इंटरेस्ट इज सिक्स थाउजेंड सो प्रिंसिपल इज इक्वल टू एटीन थाउजेंड माइनस सिक्स थाउजेंड गिवस ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड सो दिस वे यू हैव टू यूज अ सुटेबल फॉर्मूला फर्स्ट समटाइम्स यू विल हैव टू यूज इंटरेस्ट फॉर्मूला फर्स्ट एंड लेटर अमाउंट एंड इन सच कंडीशंस वेर वी हैव टू फाइंड प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट एंड इंटरेस्ट इज गिवन then you will use amount formula first so with practice you will come to know which formula has to be used first next total interest is equal to a formula p into r into t upon 100 6000 is equal to 12000 into f into t upon 100 shift all the quantities to the other side so you get t is equal to 6000 into 100 divided by 12000 into f reduce the number of zeros first and then calculate you will get t is equal to 10 years so this way we got principal first and then we got time let's fill up the blanks in the table principal is equal to rupees 12000 and time is equal to 10 years so this way we completed question number 4 now let's have a look at question 5 rate of interest time and interest is given so we can easily find principal with the help of which formula yes interest formula will be used first because in the interest formula we have to use principal rate of interest time and interest three quantities are already here down only one is missing so that missing quantity we can easily find out that is principal using interest formula so let's have a look R is equal to two and half percent is equal to two point five percent. Total interest is equal to P into R into T upon hundred. So substitute the values. Twenty four hundred is equal to P into two point five into five upon hundred. Now, whenever you have to remove the decimal point, we will have to take that many number of zeros in the denominator as many digits after the decimal point. So. Two point five will become twenty five upon ten. That's how we get hundred into ten year. So twenty four hundred is equal to p into twenty five into five upon hundred into ten. This two point five we have converted it into twenty five upon ten. Now shift all the values to the left except for p. So p is equal to twenty four hundred into ten into hundred upon twenty five into five. P is equal to rupees nineteen thousand two hundred. Now we got the value of principal, so we can easily find the amount. Amount is equal to principal plus interest, is equal to nineteen thousand two hundred plus two thousand four hundred, is equal to rupees twenty one thousand six hundred. So this way we have completed question five, where we have found out the principal and the amount. So let's write principal is equal to rupees nineteen thousand two hundred. Amount is equal to rupees. Twenty one thousand six hundred. So this way we have completed question number five as well as practice set forty one. Do practice the sums in your notebook. Stay safe. Keep learning. And thank you.